as I've said, I am going to talk about the various many cycles that pervade our lives. And yes, this is another cycle video, talking about yet another important cycle or set of cycles that can consume us or help us, either one. This one in particular is the cycle of ignorance and knowledge. These two cycles, one bad, one good, interplay very carefully. First, we have the cycle of ignorance, right? When you, someone is ignorant, not to use it as a pejorative here, but just as a term for uneducated or unknowledgeable about some particular topic, when someone is ignorant, they can either learn or choose to embrace their ignorance. These are their two choices when confronted with knowledge on something they are ignorant of. To pick an easy target, right? I'll choose a Christian. Very easy to target here at this particular cycle. Other people as well, but again, easy topic to illustrate with. We have a young earth creationist style Christian who when presented with information about something they are ignorant of, in this case the actual belief genesis of the world by scientists with credible evidence, right? They choose to actively ignore that information and replace the need to know with a simple my faith explains it answer. They get trapped in a cycle of ignorance almost immediately thereafter, right? When you present information to them, factual even, proven, right? They just laugh it off. Well, that was made up. That was just atheist scientists, right? It was the conspiracy or my book proves it wrong. You know, insert whatever particular dogmatic excuse they use. The point is, once the cycle of ignorance starts, where someone embraces their ignorance instead of knowledge, it feeds on itself incredibly quickly. It spreads quicker than any of the other cycles I've talked about so far. Ignorance, once embraced as knowledge, becomes an immediate panacea for anything, right? Oh, well, I don't understand this. God. Okay? Well, why do puppy dogs die? Well, it's God, right? You know, you can pretty much turn God of the gaps as a concept into an entire theology just by embracing ignorance, where anything you don't understand has a clear and simple answer delivered from the heavens. Replace this, of course, religious dogma with anything, whether it be a scientist so wrapped up in their own paradigm, their own view of the world, that everything they see, no matter what it is, is explained by what they already quote-unquote know. It doesn't matter what particular god of the gaps is being utilized here. The cycle of ignorance spreads massively and quickly behind any guise. However, the ray of sunshine breaks through, right? And we also have a cycle of knowledge, where when one is confronted with it, something one does not know and perhaps challenges one's preconceived notions, you choose the other option, the right-handed path, right, instead of the left-handed, which is learn. When one learns about this topic that challenged you or whatever, you can maybe say, hey, I was wrong, or this actually just changes my belief a little, or I have credible evidence to suggest that this is actually incorrect. You can challenge it, understand it, absorb it, perhaps. From there, you've learned. You've become smarter. More topics of interest will be picked, perhaps. Wait, this is related to that. How does that work? Wait, but then this also... Re oh, I see. You know, this chain starts where, just like the cycle of ignorance, the cycle of knowledge spreads quickly. When you start learning, as long as you embrace the act of learning, you keep learning. And you don't stop, right? Once you've started learning and continuing to seek out information, you never stop learning. You never stop understanding that you have the choice between accepting ignorance and learning. It's always before you because you're always ignorant on something. But rather than just saying, no, I'm not, and moving on with your beliefs, you say, wait, yes, I am, but I don't have to be. And it just spreads from there. Then you learn about everything, right? One step at a time. By choosing not to embrace ignorance, you actively propagate a positive cycle in your life right there. Just by choosing to challenge instead of ignore, you make yourself better. By actively embracing knowledge and learning and reasoning, though, you spread the cycle through your entire life where you don't just have to not know and be afraid or whatever. You can actually just learn, understand, accept, right? Both of these cycles can be present. But the choice is so easy to make that it would almost be foolish, right? Not almost, it would be foolish to choose ignorance over knowledge. Both are right there, easy to grasp. It's not hard. Ignorance might feel better in the short term, especially ignorance is bliss. That saying comes from somewhere because it's true. It feels good to just think you have all the answers all wrapped up in a nice little package with a pretty bow on top, right? It's all there. You don't need to look beyond that. It's all in a box. But it's not. The truth is it's not. 
the world is much more complicated than that. And once you embrace that fact and begin to learn, the entire universe opens up for you. Just something to think about.